bigger than the movies, its virtual stars are famous the world over. It's set to dominate the entertainment industry. Now, the global computer games industry has breached its final frontier, the World Wide Web. We've all been exposed to the hype, we've all seen the TV ads. Now it's time to look beyond the banter and reveal the truth behind the myths surrounding this, the newest and most exciting of internet phenomena. Online is definitely the way forward without a shadow of a doubt. It just, it adds so much more to just playing against a computer, which at times can be highly entertaining, but playing against your mates or playing against strangers or people in another country, it just adds a whole new element to it. The advantage of online gaming is that it does sort of uh, detach a lot of the stigmas that have been present in gaming before. Um, you know, it gets people together, which is, can only be a good thing. But you know, more and more games are, are not designed just for a single player experience, but designed to be like, played cooperatively so that you, know, you get something out of it by playing with other people. The online gaming pioneer is the entertainment giant Sega. We've been granted a rare behind-the-scenes tour of their facilities in West London to find out the reality of gaming. How easy is it to play the games online? How easy is it to set up? And what games can you play? Is online gaming just another futuristic gimmick? Or is this one company with its Dreamcast console transforming the game playing culture forever and uniting the gaming community into one global gaming forum? Dreamcast offers not only online gaming um, to the users, it also offers an online community. And what this means for our users is not only do they get to play games, they also get to make friends. It really adds a social element to gameplay now. Dream Marine offers a, sort of a whole online portal site to all Dreamcast users. You can check out the latest events, what's going on, new game releases, reviews, previews, um, even some sort of movie news if you're interested in that sort of thing. But it doesn't stop there, it allows you a whole sort of wider access to the net so you can surf as many sites as you like. All very impressive, but are Sega really claiming that online gaming is a social activity? Well this is the game's development department at Sega's European head office. This department is the ultimate testbed for the future of gaming. Never filmed before, these expert gamers test the software to unprecedented limits and find even the smallest of glitches before the game reaches the shops. If there's one person who knows about online gaming, it has to be Nick Bennett, Sega's lead tester. Here we test all the games, to search them for gameplay problems of any sort, and uh, they're here for quite a long time usually. A title can be here for up to about 12 weeks or so. During that time, both the games and the operators themselves are tested to the very limit. Seven days a week, you don't have to work that, but I tend to like put the overtime in. Normal morning start, nine o'clock, ten o'clock on a weekend, uh, right the way round to the early hours of the morning. So I could do something up to a hundred hours a week. I sleep here, got shower, kitchen, and I sleep just on my, under my table in my sleeping bag, roll mat, got everything I want. Get up in the morning, shower, breakfast, the kitchen's over at the back, so do what I want. I've been here, what, um, nearly six months now, and uh, it's reality to me now, so I'm here, testing games. Put this way, if I wasn't here, I would be upset kind of thing, you know? Going through relentless testing at the moment has got to be one of the most exciting online games soon to be available on Dreamcast. We've got uh, Quake 3, which is the killer. It's very big on PC at the moment, and at the moment we're having a massive freight fest in the office. Um, but when it's finally released, you'll be able to play up to four other people around Europe. Uh, so you can see who's best, you know, is Britain better than Germany, Germany better than Spain. We'll see. We've got Quake 3 here running, and it allows for up to four people to play online against one another, and also four player on a single machine as well. Compared to, say, the PC version of the same game, you don't need to fork out lots and lots of money on a expensive setup. Thankfully with Dreamcast, you can play just quite easily just with the normal modem that it comes with. In Quake 3, they decided to go all out and just really refine the multiplayer aspect of it and focus completely on that. And what, you, what they've ended up with is a really well put together multiplayer game. Quake 3 Arena follows in the footsteps of Dreamcast's first online gaming title. It sits quite nice alongside Choo Choo Rocket, which we see as another killer game. It's been given away to uh, Dream Arena users at the moment for free, um, so get your copy. Um, we see that as another great title. Dreamcast's unique online capabilities not only extend all the thrills of online gaming to millions of new players, but also create a new barrier-free online gaming community. We're all familiar with the launch titles such as Sonic Adventure and Ready to Rumble Boxing, but what online titles are Sega going to spring on us, the unsuspecting public, in the near future? Well, choice seems to be the name of the game.
clear then that the new lineup will include the ultimate in state of the art gameplay. Together with these titles, Sega will also be launching a new addition to its range of hardware peripherals, microphone technology. This is a microphone accessory which is coming out for Dreamcast. All those guys who have got access to Dream Arena, this microphone is going to allow you to have conversations with those people um, via voice messaging or via direct chatting, which is going to be following very shortly, particularly with some gaming applications where you can talk in a real-time sense to them. What I've got here is a uh, new piece of software which we're developing called Planet Ring. I'm going to go to the main game which I want to show you, uh, which is called Dream Dorobo. I simply go into this room and then I can see that there's someone else in there called Dreamy and I'm going to play a game with him. So um, hopefully Sam's here. Sam, are you there? Receiving loud and clear. Thank you very much. Now, which way should I go? Go up the, uh, the path. Upwards, yeah, that's up it. Here. Yeah, keep going, keep going. And then left, left through the red door. Okay. Yeah, that one there. You got a little bit of a treasure. So the future of online gaming would appear to be assured. But is it really that easy to set up online? We literally take the, the uh, Dreamcast out of the box, plug it in, fill out the on screen prompts, and away you go. First initial setup takes about five minutes, but once you've got your password registered, you're talking sort of less than 30 seconds. So we can only conclude that the future of gaming is online and that the future of online has to be Dreamcast. And what's more, Dreamcast will be the only online games console available this Christmas. Dreamcast is going to be the console for Christmas. There's nothing else like it on the market. It's the only online console and will be for a long while yet. So if you want to enjoy true online capabilities of gaming, emailing and web surfing, then there really is only one console to fill your stocking with this Christmas. Dreamcast from Sega.